Well, see how we go. I'm at 342 kilometres since I filled it up. It's been flashing for about 87, 88 k's, saying I'm on reserve. And I've got a little job to do, so I thought I'd go on the bike. I've got the rotor packs on the back in case I run out of juice. See how far this will go before it runs out. And the go to is about 350 k's now. I've ridden around, ridden around, I've had some commuting in built up areas, I've had some quite a bit of freeway back and forth, but I don't think I've been above five or six thousand revs per minute. Not thrashing around. So interesting. Did that just fart? did was I suck in air and not fuel Now my way back at 95 kilometres since I went onto a reserve, if you like. Where am I at? Kilometres 349.2. There you go. There you go. 350 k's. Let's give it a check. Let's do what they do with the TT when they're about 10 k's to go, 10 miles to go. <laughs> they do all this shenanigans to get the last little bit of fuel into the fuel injection system that I am running out. So I get a little bit of warning, I wonder how far now, I've got a guaranteed 349 k's with my normal riding. I've had a splutter, so how far can I go post splutter? This is your problem here at, at junctions isn't it, when you get to the junction it stalls and leaves you in the shit. I'm not stopping. Yeah I am. <laughs> there you go, 350, bang on. Bang on 350 k's. 95 k's on the on the on the flash. Interesting. Alright. Well that'll get me on. Let's be honest, I don't really recommend running out of juice if you don't know what's in the bottom of your tank. To be fair, this is quite a new bike, really. There shouldn't be a lot of shit in the tank and dragging crap into the fuel system, but I'll do that and get that on. Let's make sure everything's fastened on. Well, there you go, 350 k's, bang on. Good effort.